Hi, in today's video, I'll be showing you my 10 most essential sewing gadgets, and if you're interested, stay tuned. Hi, lovely people, welcome to it. It's Josie. Josie here, and I'm glad to have you back again. Welcome. If you're new to my channel, we welcome, and for my new subscribers, thank you for joining me here. And for my old subscribers, thank you for always coming back to watch my videos. And before I go on, I would like to show you what I'm wearing. I'm wearing a jumper dress that I recently made. It's my newest make. Yes, pretty much my newest completed make. And I made it out of the Butter Style magazine of November 2020. And that was pattern number 121. I, I recorded a video of a so along of this particular dress. And if you're interested, I'll add a card. I made it out of this sweater knit fabric i got from fabrics for all all details about the making of this jumper dress i'll add them onto there it's the perfect outfit for today because it's quite gray outside and it's very cold and just like you've read today i want to show you my 10 most essential sewing gadgets that you could consider getting during the black friday sale going on probably next week some books there are some sales going on already but Next week is Black Friday, you get a few discounts on a few gadgets and I thought this is the best time. And also something you can consider to put on your Christmas lists because Christmas is around the corner and some family members would rather know what you need and they can buy it for you. Or if you want to buy for your sewing friends, these are all ideas of what you can get them. With no further ado, I'm going to show them to you, I have them laid down on the table here and I thought I would show you what should I start with. I think I'll start with these two the sewing cam and the sewing sausage sorry mine has some thread sewing cam and sewing sausage these are made by me these are diy by me but they are commercially made they are bought and this is the sewing ham also called the press ham tailor's ham we call it ham and sausage because they actually pretty much look the same they do the similar roles they're all pressing assistance. They help you with getting those nice seams flat. And I'll start with the ham there. I'll attach links to most of this. I made mine because I love a DIY. If I can make it, the better. However, the important thing to consider that more the, the ones sold in the shops, the ones you find, definitely have a woolen set woolen material and a cotton one because they are made with fabrics that are natural that can't melt under high heat and also the inside has some sawdust sawdust absorbs all the moisture without getting moldy so it's not the kind where you just put your batting or stuffing you use for cushions no it has to have a proper material underneath there so the black one i used 100 percent suiting wool fabric so it needs to be 100 percent wool then the top here i use some African wax print fabric I had of, that I repurposed for this. So I did the same for these two. Probably if you ever want a tutorial now to make them, let me know. But other than that, I will attach links if you would rather buy them because it's, it's much easier buying them than making them because you need the wool fabric, you need to get the sodas. But these are used and this, the sausage is also called a sleeve roll. Ideally what you do when you want to iron your seams flat you insert it under your sauce, under your sleeve and iron it over on the ironing board because sometimes it's hard to get the rounded seams flat and this comes into your rescue and this the press ham comes is ideal for when i don't have something close by but if, if you want to iron down the sleeve curb seams now like these rounded seams or that sewn clothes and you don't want them to be flat but rather you keep that curve within them you let the fabric cover then you iron over so they are important gadgets quite essential for most for every sew is really because sewing comes comes hand in hand with ironing or pressing and this is the first gadget i've grouped them into one because they are actually related but i will like, try to attach links to each and every item i'm showing you in the description box below then another gadget i will show you probably is I've collected so many sewing feet, but I thought I'll just show you one of the most essential ones. And this is a walking foot. And what it does is it helps feed fabric 
evenly when you're sewing it if you look at your sewing machine at the bottom you see those feed dogs that help pull fabric as you sew as you run and the top one is just flat and smooth so most times you find like it's all right fabrics can be pulled together nicely but there are fabrics that are quite tricky to work with an example is if you're sewing jersey fabrics over your sewing machine most times you find that they are not being pulled evenly that by the end of sewing you might find that the top fabric doesn't match up with the bottom fabric so what this does if you can see the ridges at the bottom hope oh, the camera can fit the ridges at the bottom they help feed the fabric on top while the feed dogs are also pulling it at the bottom so you have an even feed as you sew so a sewing a sewing a walking foot is quite an important and helpful gadget to work with it also comes in handy when you're working with other slinky fabrics they don't have to be neat fabrics but those fabrics that are easy hard to sew by themselves without being held together or without being eaten up by the machine so this comes in handy however i don't mostly use it for knits because i prefer using my overlocker to sew my knits other people would rather first go in with their sewing machine then go ahead and use the overlock this comes in handy it's a good gadget to have and more so if you don't have an overlocking machine this will be your good assistant and also speaking of knit fabrics and sewing machine and overlock another gadget or items that come in handy are these clips there's so many brand names like the wonder clips i'm using generic clips that i bought cheaply either on ebay i think i got them from ebay or aliexpress and ideally what these are do they are just clips like you've had i've heard of a few people who would rather first sew their neat garments over their sewing machine before transferring them to the overlocker for the one reason that most of them have forgotten to remove their pins or sometimes when you're sewing with your pins they've run over them and broken their needles in their overlockers so they would rather first use that and the best way that a phone works for me is using clips on my knit garments first of all some pins are non ballpoint pins so they would leave packle up the fibers in the jersey fabric but also when you have a clip holding the two pieces of fabric together you would definitely have to remove it before you run it over the overlocker i know the machine is quite fast and sometimes you lose control that before you know it you notice when your needle has gotten into the pin or it has been broken or the pin has been bent in the so overlocker that has happened to me enough times so these clips come in handy i don't perforate the fabric but also it helps me keep hold of them together without the risking breaking my needles so these clips come in handy you can, they are quite cheap and affordable there are many brands but i would rather I, these are the cheaper generic brand which still works perfect for me Okay, next gadget I would want to show you are rulers. I've collected so many. I've not shown you all the rulers I've got. I've got a lot to have not brought. But I thought I'd show you these three rulers. You don't need all three. Even one can do for you. But let me show you what they are. This is just your typical seam allowance ruler. To add seam allowance and also for grading purposes. If you're sewing something and you probably think you should go size higher. And this comes with... The width is just two inches, but it has those little markings that guide you from an eighth of an inch, two eighths of an inch, which is a quarter an inch, three eighths. So it helps, it comes in handy when you have to add seam allowance to your garments. Like if you love sewing with patterns like the bird, uh, the autobre, and other patterns that don't come with seam allowance. This comes in handy because it helps you add the seam allowance easily and it's quite flexible. So it's easy to work with and just that one ruler comes in handy but because I've been collecting them over time and I've also been having a go at pattern making I've not yet reached wherever I want to get to with pattern making but it's the main reason why I bought this this is a pattern master it's called a pattern maker really it comes up with these a few demarcations for seam allowance if you're working with some meals then the holes there this is a pattern maker really a pattern ruler but another I found quite important is this is called they call it the grading rule and seam allowance ruler and this is an imperial 
oh actually this is called a french curve and this is an imperial french curve this particular brand comes with imperial metric measurements and it's ideal for grading if you want to grade between patterns this column here i think is two is an inch and it can be used for adding seam allowance and the here, this is the curve curve part which can be used for necklines if you're drafting or actually working with your patterns grading between sizes this rounded part i don't know if it's clear behind this let me try to put a white background to get it more visible if you can tell that rounded part of the ruler can be used for necklines and if you can tell it they also come with seam allowances so they can help you with adding seam allowances to curved parts because we have a quarter an inch half an inch and five eighths of an inch and also these other sides can be used just for hip lines and waistline then also sleeve cups armholes and neckline it comes in handy it's one small gadget which is also equally flexible and they're not easy to break if you can tell so probably if i must recommend one of the three i think one like this would come in handy because although it gives you the seam allowances that you can easily get with this it also has the carvings for the rounded for the rounded and all the more curvy parts of the sewing pattern you don't have to be pattern drafting to need this you just need to have need to grade out your patterns with this it will give you that easy seamless curving line that you curved line that you need you might need to work with so my recommendations if you must get one is just this you would use it for pattern drafting you use it for grading for adding seam allowances but if you're as ambitious you can go out and buy quite a few of them but at least one all you need is one that will go to the side my other recommendations are measuring gauge gauges i've got three small gadgets here which pretty much do the same job and these gadgets would help you with marking with seam allowances measurements let me say you're on your sewing machine pretty much i think most important on your overlocker which might not have markings for which exact seam allowances what point they might have a marking but they can't tell you where exactly to find this they don't show the numbers of the seam allowances or they pretty much don't have all these gadgets come in handy it can help you see where this is in metrics yeah and it shows you centimeters this was a stop and still one unfortunately it's rubbing off the markings are rubbing off i try to mark out with a sharpie so i know what i'm working with more so when i'm trying to get the hem measurements then also this one comes in handy now this sewing gauge is special that it also has this corner that you can use to pop to pop out corners like on collars when you're sewing collars so it comes in handy they are all gadgets i've held on to and i also use this one to mark out the the hem allowances when i want to iron them flat so i use it it has this adjustable slider which you can use for that and this came into the post yesterday if you can tell it came all the way from the us i'm based in the uk and it came from love notions you've heard me talk about love notions i'm an ambassador with them they sent us a few little gifts into the in the mail it's been on the way for quite a long time and this is a sewing gauge also and it has various measurements that would help you to make measurements on those small items and these come in half an inch one and a half inches five eighths of an inch it's a beautiful pretty gadget i've had one in the past which was a lightweight plastic and it broke but this is quite hard hard plastic i think you could be able to get them from the love notions website if i find it i'll add it but most times they've used them in their workshops but if i find it i'll add it on to the description box below but it's a cute pretty gadget so these come in handy when you want to be able to tell which where to place your fabric on your sewing machine or to just take simple measurements to mark them on your fabric when you're cutting something because now this comes with a number of different measurements that you come in handy this to the side then another important gadget is this 
and this is an expanding sewing gauge i know we're getting so many sewing gauges but they do different jobs this is an expanding one and if you come across it i know most people use them for button holes and attaching buttons it gives you that even measurements if you're going to attach let me say button holes on this dress i'm wearing you when you stretch it over it will give you that even feeding let me say you're working with a button hole placket on a shirt you know that if you place it on an item you you can go over with the fabric marker and marker the what spots you need to put your button holes your buttons and it's not only used it's not limited to only button holes it can be used when you're sharing your fabric the sharing elastic elastics then when you're also putting pleats on your skirt or something you're sewing this will give you even measurements to mark off where the pleats should be put when you're gathering fabric and when you're actually stretching fabric it's a beautiful gadget to work with actually i mostly used it for button holes but when you think about the many things you can use it for and it also has markings here so actually if you want to be specific to mark off a quarter an inch of two or a half an inch all those measurements and they are all onto this it's an important gadget and it's something beautiful to have i'll attach links to each and everything i'm showing in the description box below and then the other gadget i want to show you probably not everybody's under lockdown in the uk we are under lockdown so non-essential shops are not open gone are the days when you realize like oh i'm in the middle of this sewing gadget and i run out to buy by a step it doesn't happen anymore the most you can do is order online and wait until it's delivered and such a gadget comes to your rescue and this is a a bias step maker kit and it comes with bias maker attachments these are different three sizes i got this from amazon a while ago there it comes with four different sizes of bias tape making kits and all these come in handy it comes with some glass pins and this particular kit also comes with a bias tape attachment foot and this comes in handy if you are not making hidden bias binding and you want it to be exposed so these are different it wasn't actually priced it was affordable and these are things that come to your rescue at such a time when you can't just step into a shop to buy buy a step but you've got random pieces of fabric enough to make your own buyer step which makes it possible to personalize your item by having a matching buyer step but also something affordable that you can do at home so a buyer step maker kit or a few buyer step fit come in handy so it's something that i would recommend for someone who doesn't have one to get because it takes away the case game from getting strips of fabric for them i and them i think it will make life easy and given recently i went ahead and splurged and treated myself to an electric bias step maker but it's not for everyone and also that item has been discontinued i will touch a card here when i reviewed that item it has been discontinued so it's not for everyone but this is something that can be afforded by a number of people so people can consider getting that and then another item which i found important are these gadgets these are tracing wheels and this is the clover version it's a double tracing wheel and it's just smooth thing. and i also have this serrated single tracing wheel and they've all got purposes they serve and let me say if you're an avid maker of Vada style magazine and i probably bought this so many years ago i think i bought it in 2011 or 2012 i wasn't actively sewing but i was ambitious really and i bought this mostly to trace out Vada style magazine patterns i didn't do much of it and the best way to do it is if you're going to trace out the patterns and you probably don't even have tracing paper and you just have plain white paper i bought the old go to old style carbon paper and what i did with these carbon sheets i cello tapes them together and they are it's a brilliant way of working around within with it because now these come out the the little attachments come out so you can set them to the seam allowance you want to attach to the, your particular pattern then with that you can attach 
the carbon paper on top of the paper where you want to transfer the markings then put the pattern pieces on top so with that you trace over the markings you have on the tracing pattern probably one day i'll show you how i use it with butter cell magazine pattern i don't use it much for that but i bought this one for that but i'll show you what I, you can still use this for so you can trace over to mark out your seam allowance and also the other way I find this coming handy is when you're marking off your darts on on your fabric. If you want to mark off darts onto your fabric, you'd use something like a tracing paper. There are different brands. This one, some of I've got a few mixed up, some are prim or clover tracing papers. And you want to mark out your if you want to mark out your darts onto your fabric, you could use it over the pattern paper. And the beauty with this, because it's double, you also have the option of just taking out just one and you just use that one that you need. And it's actually easy to hold because it has a big base at the bottom. And I could pull and I can easily put this facing the fabric, the colored side facing the fabric. They come in various colors. I've got a white one. This is a white one. Then I've got blues and pinks and greens, so they are all dependent on which color you want to show, and they are washable. So I would use them by putting this pattern on top of the fabric where I want to mark, then the, the pattern pick, the pattern paper on top, and then use this to trace out the lines of the or the dots. So that comes in handy. So the tracing wheels come in handy, and also if you're into adjusting your patterns and you want to see you move the darts here and there this serrated one comes in to mark the papers if you have used it on their fabrics but i find it a bit can be rough on fabrics but this can be used to mark out if you've transferred your darts and you want to mark them on paper this comes in handle if you're into pattern drafting so these two gadgets i just consider them to be one you can either get a serrated one or a smooth one but this being double it serves multiple purposes for me so these are gadgets that are quite important to have then also i'm coming to the end of my gadgets and the next item i'm showing you is a rotary cutter i happen to have two this was the very first one i ever bought that was in 2011 2012 when i started little pretty much sewing something I wasn't actively dress breaking but i was sewing something <laughs> and this particular one is was quite small that time when i bought it i just bought the smallest and something i could find and i've never bothered replacing the blade because it was so small i wasn't going to use it for many items but what i use this actually now one for because the blade got a bit blunt i use it for cutting out my pattern pieces before paper pattern pieces so this is my go-to one it's by so easy and it locks you can lock it up if you are afraid that kids would open it up but i like it it has good support where you place your hands so i rotary cutter scissors cutting my fabric and definitely when you are using rotary cutters you need a cutting mat. I have two of these. They're not the biggest and I place them on my table here. And it's what I use to cut out fabric. With this, you can't use a rotary cut over your table. Otherwise, you want you will damage your table or your floors. So whenever using a rotary cutter, they go hand in hand with a cutting mat. These are these are not the biggest, but I've got two that I've put together and I managed to trace out to cut out many items that I need. And it comes in handy most so it's ideal when you're cutting out jersey fabrics so viscose fabrics lightweight fabrics that are is likely to shift and use them with pattern weights i know i didn't bring out pattern weights there are many pattern weights you can get some people use washers i use washers myself but i also have rocks i picked up from the beach they went to the seaside during the summer months i got some rocks and i got this idea from my lovely friend hila saturday night stitch i went to her house and i realized she was using many rocks that she has picked up on her camping adventures for pattern weights so anything can be a pattern weight but the best way to use them is when also you're cutting with a oven and a cutting mat and a rotary cutter and that's it with my 10 essential items i know some have been paired up but that's it with my 10 essential sewing gadgets that you could consider getting this Black Friday or for Christmas or putting on your 
wish list really if you've been good santa might get you one of those and let me know what you think are these gadgets that you use yourself or is there any item that you would want me to record a tutorial on how i use it if you're interested in knowing if it's that important you let me know that's it with my recommendations of sewing gadgets that you could go start getting if you don't have you don't need all of them they're not necessities a necessary item is a sewing machine then others you can still work use whatever you have on you but these are items added items that make your sewing experience much better or easier or simplify things really let me know what you think if you've sat through this video and you're not subscribed to my channel please go ahead and subscribe and while at it please press the bell icon so youtube notifies you whenever i upload a new video which i tend to do on a weekly basis please like and comment i endeavor to reply to each and every comment that's left to my videos until next time thank you for watching bye